What is up guys? Uh, welcome back to Diddy Reviews. Thank you for joining me. Um, today is just a bit of a random video really. I've got a basically my first ever hardline tubing project coming up that I'm going to do for my, my full, my, my personal rig. Um, and I kind of want to take you guys along for the ride of it. So this is kind of part one, more part 0.5 to be honest with you because I'm just literally going to show you one of the uh, reservoir, reservoir distro plates I've uh, got to basically use in this. I just wanted to do an unboxing of it really um, because I personally think it looks absolutely epic. Um, so that's it guys, really. I'm literally just gonna show you um, what comes in this box. Um, packaging leaves a lot to be desired, um, but it does it does its job, it does what it needs to do. Uh, this is from Big Ski or Bike Ski, however you wanna pr pronounce it. Um, widely available on AliExpress. Uh, I do believe they sell direct from their website in the US, um, but currently here in the UK, it is only AliExpress you can get them from as far as I'm aware or there may be watercallroom.co.uk do some of their stuff, but not all of it. Um, so yeah, basically we're gonna take a look at this and uh, I'll show you uh, what it looks like. And personally, I think it looks epic. So let's have a look. Right, so as I mentioned, packaging leaves a lot to be desired. It's no, no fan nothing fancy like you'd see with EK or Alpha Cool or Thermal Right, uh, not Thermal Right, Thermal Take, sorry. Uh, anyone like that. Um, it is just a plain box it comes in, but it's from AliExpress and it's, for what it is compared to the sort of competition out there, it's relatively cheap. Um, I'll tell you about that in just a second. So let's get it out and have a look. It's well packaged, even though it is in a boring brown box. And this is the absolute beast here. Ah, uh, just look at that. That is absolutely stunning, if you ask me. I think that looks absolutely beautiful. So this is their universal distro plate. This is the 240 version. They do it in a 120, a 240, and a 360. Um, be nice if they did it in a 480 as well, because then I could have just bought one of these. Um, so I, basically, I'm going to buy two of these, and I've got, in my case, I'm going to use for my water cooling build. Uh, I've got a 480 mount. Um, so I'm going to have two of these basically and hopefully do a dual loop. I'm hoping it works out. I don't know if it will, so stick around if you want to see that. Like I say, it's from Bikesy. It's got their little logo there. And it's got sort of this armor, I think they call it. Uh, I bought the one without the pump. They do sell it with a pump. Uh, and I think they charge about UK price, about a 40, uh, 40, 45 pound premium to have the pump included. However, I already have a couple of DDC pumps, which I can just hopefully throw straight on here. Fingers crossed, if not, I'm gonna to have to buy some pumps. Um, but as it stands, hopefully I can just use this. Right, like, so like I say, this is a 240, they do a 360, which so that's obviously gonna have more ports on it, but this is plenty for most people. Um, you've got a port you can use for drain, you've got obviously a, your outlet, um, you've got obviously then you've got ins and outs all the way up, and you can use one of these top two up here for a fill, uh, to fill it up, and obviously one for the return. And like I say, it comes with this Aluminium, I believe it's aluminium. It feels like it. Um, aluminium armor, I think they call it, all the way around it, and just looks absolutely stunning. However, I do believe you can remove this, so we're just gonna have a look at that now. You do get a little bag of accessories with it, not a lot to talk about really. It comes with some weird random proprietary uh, RGB, which I don't like, but they obviously do give you a cable to convert that to your normal um, three pin, five volt ARGB. It comes with a pack of screws to mount it directly to your case and also comes with a pack of longer screws. I guess if you've, I don't know, if you've got to go through um, fans or something like that, I'm not really sure. Maybe, I don't know what you'd need that for because um, it pretty much is meant to go directly to the um, case. So let's quickly have a, quickly whip this off. I think it's just these four bolts. Right, so I've tried removing it. You can't actually remove it. Um, these basically stop you. These basically raised bits where your fittings go, they stop you. Whether you could bend it out of the way to get it out, possibly. Um, but personally, I don't want to do it because I don't want to damage it because um, I absolutely love the look of it. I can't wait to basically use this. Um, so I'll try and show you up close on camera sort of the way the sort of path of fluid goes um, without obviously taking this off. So let me just pop that back on. 
and secure it. Why they give you the ability to take the uh, the bolts out, I have no idea because they give you an Allen key to do it as well. But as far as I can see, there's no way of getting it out unless you bend it to get it out. But I'm not going to do that. So let's put this back anyway. So anyway, um, we figured out we can't take that off. Um, so let's try and give you a closer look of how sort of the water flow goes in this, um, whether you can see in there, sort of, they might be able to see a bit of it. So obviously the pump goes in here, fluid comes down from these two holes, um, whether you can see that or not. So you've got this chamber at the top here, which is for these two ports here, which then filters down to your pump, which then pumps out this hole right here and then you've got two two ports there that have come from that. So you get one one can be your drain or it could be your outlet. And the other one could be another outlet, depending on how you want to set up your uh, configuration. But that is one sort of little chamber in there. It then can come back into here, then can come back into here. You've got another sort of chamber there for those two ports. And then you've got the same again at the top. And then, like I said before, you've got your two ports there for fill and return. Uh, and that's about it really guys, um, standard 120mm uh, fan mounting, and like I say you get the screws with it, uh, so there's eight screw holes there, you don't technically need to put all of them in, um, but that's it guys, I just wanted to show you this because when I received this I, was, I saw, obviously saw it on AliExpress and thought that oh, looks really nice, and then when I actually got it in person I thought oh my god that looks amazing, um, I need to show you this because I can't see anywhere on YouTube people showing this other than I think bike skin themselves. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. Just wanted to give you a quick show of that. This is going to be in an upcoming uh, hardline water cool build. Um, so stick, uh, stick, stay tuned for that if you're interested. And uh, we'll hopefully get that done within the next month or two. Um, it's going to be a while. I'm going to order another one of these. Uh, I've got radiators on the way and maybe need more fittings and stuff. But it's all going to be sort of a work in progress and how it goes. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Like, dislike and leave comments, whichever you want to do. Uh, so thanks for watching and see you guys soon. Goodbye.